Hello, welcome to another episode of Hawker vs Restaurant. I am Daryl and I am John. And today we're going to be trying steaks. steaks. Beef House is my family business. We've been around 30 years already. For beef, we have tenderloin, ribeye, and sirloin. The popular one should be the ribeye. Every slice is around 6 pounds, which is around 200 grams. We don't season it after slicing. We do it on the spot and grill it. This is a ribeye steak from uh, Uno. 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 You know Uno. what it is? Black and yellow. Yeah, this is where we are gonna douse our beef in some black pepper sauce and oh, oh, oh. and then uh, ha 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 along with baked beans, fried potato ball and tomato and even like garlic bread. On the steak itself, they have like some fried onions, green peppers and like mushroom. Let's try the potato. The crust is quite nice, they fry quite nice. It actually tastes like a crouton. Oh, it tastes like mashed potatoes coated in crouton. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Ah, I don't eat tomato. You can have mine. No, it's fine. See you distract me, but I'm distracted without you. It's very soft, very juicy, very very flavorful. The sauce itself, right, there's a tinge of sweetness actually, which I've never tasted before. It's a very unique sauce. It doesn't taste like black pepper sauce. If the sauce, I usually ask for it to be served on the side. I know, I mean, the sauce is very distracting, yeah, right? Yeah, and I can't get rid of the sauce because it's just poured all over my hot plate. One thing I dislike about having a steak served on a hot plate mm. is that, like, your plate is still hot when you serve it. So, like, the doneness is a bit uneven, like, but your bottom is slightly, like, more well done than the top. It's not an even edge to it. Overall, the quality of the meat was really, really good. It was quite well done. Dude, no, it's medium rare. No, no, I think. <laughs> For me, like the amount of food they are getting, 200 grams ribeye steak with like a bunch of different sides, like way worth the money, and it's pretty good quality as well. Ah, uh, work, work. Hi, I'm Dinesh. I've been a chef for the past five years. This chop house that we're in right now started in um, January 2016. Today we're going to be serving USDA prime ribeye. It's probably the best piece of meat that we serve over here. It comes from uh, Swift. It's very highly marbled because it's been corn fed for about 200 days. Basically, first we take the ribeye which is at room temperature. Season it with our steak salt, which contains salt, celery salt, a bunch of other spices. And we put it into the broiler, which cooks from above. So all the fat renders down and goes back into the meat and basically cooks from top to bottom and gives you a very well balanced uh, doneness on the inside. Because it's a broiler, it cooks really fast. So I can get a medium rare ribeye in about four minutes. Hey, eat book in the house. Say what? Yeah, eat book in the house. Which house? Chop house. Which house? Chop house. We're gonna order some steak, John and I. We're gonna eat some rib eyes. USDA prime. Only top 2% in the diner. We're gonna have some steak. Hey, hey, okay. <laughs> So right now we're at the chop house and it's been very nice. They actually recommended us to a mac and cheese for side as well as a spinach and mushrooms. Shall we dig in? We try the side first, then we let you guys know. Oh wow, damn creamy! Yeah, it's, it's really good. Oh mm, my god, very very rich the flavor. Now we try the mushrooms and the spinach. Mm. Mushrooms are really juicy. Mm. And the flavors are fantastic. The chow on the steak looks insane. I love it when like the crust is like that caramelized. You hear this crust, man? Oh lord. The thing I noticed straight away is like the crust man, just it's so crispy. Even like the slightly burnt parts, like the slightly bitter taste. Mm. If the like juiciness of the meat goes really nice. It comes with three sauces. To me, right, it's not even a matter of combination. Eh. Right. The sauce is very nice. Then after I swallow all the sauce, right, that in the steak again, right? Then I'm reminded of the beautiful flavor of the steak. <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting because like with every sauce that you eat the steak, it's like a different journey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
It's really a different experience every time like you eat like with a different sauce. Out of these three, I think my favorite actually is the red wine. The steak is still the star of that pie. While the others like these kind of still the spotlight a bit. Mm. So I think this rib eye in particular, uh, on its own, fantastic. Mm. Really fantastic. One of the best steaks I've actually had. And on top of that, you have this combination of like so many different sauces that you can try it with. So it's very fun to play with. To me it's quite a steal. Eh? Wow. Yeah. But the thing is, I mean, you don't get all different sides as well. Uh. But yeah. I'd be happy with this, you know. I'd be really, really happy yeah. with just this. The portion is quite big as well. Right? Yeah, it's huge. Anyway, right, even if you guys don't eat steak, right? Make and cheese, ah. Uh. <laughs> Woo! So, Gerald, which was your favourite steak? My favourite definitely has to be Chop House. But realistically, right, I think that you would see me more often at Uno. Oh, just because, like, it's so much more affordable, and if I have cravings for steak, like, I can fulfil my cravings by going to Uno. So, my favourite would have to be the Chop House Steak. I think for a very simple reason, like I've had plenty of steaks in my life and me tasting the Chop House Steak for the first time, right, it really hit me as like, wow, this is good, you know? Like the rest is kind of like, okay, I'm having steak, oh, it's decent, it tastes like steak, this is what I expect. But this one was way above my expectations. So that really blew my mind and on top of that, the sides were fantastic, especially the mac and cheese, like I couldn't stop, I really couldn't stop. I was super impressed with the quality of the Chop House Steak. Yeah, it was amazing. But this is not to like put down Uno. Uno was like legit still like very tender, very delicious. Mm. If you want like a local take on steak and a very that's very decent and like the value of money is there, definitely go for Uno. Mm. Like it will fulfill all your steak cravings. Mm. But if you want like a more authentic American style steak, then Chop House is the way to go. Our ultimate choice is Chop House. Yes. The Chop House. Yes. T T A K. We are Eat Book, and you know what we say: like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you, if you, if you want to watch more videos, click here. Amen. <laughs> <laughs>